Welcome to the iconic TV series that redefined police dramas, Hill Street Blues. Set in an urban precinct, this show, debuting in the early 80 seconds, revolutionized television with its raw, authentic portrayal of police work and the complexities of personal lives within the force. Its enduring legacy lies in its groundbreaking narrative structure, character depth, and willingness to tackle pressing societal issues. The series captivated audiences by delving into the daily struggles and triumphs of those working the beat, earning critical acclaim and a loyal fan base. Have you ever found yourself drawn into the chaotic yet mesmerizing world of Hill Street Blues? Perhaps it was the first time you witnessed its gripping storytelling or felt connected to the multidimensional characters navigating the gritty streets. This show has a way of leaving an indelible mark on viewers, often becoming a cherished part of their TV experiences. We're eager to hear about your most cherished memories or personal experiences with this groundbreaking series. Share your stories and reflections in the comments below. Your connection to this show could be as compelling as its narrative. Let's keep the conversation alive. Throughout its seven-year run, the city and Hill Street Blues remained unnamed, although cues pointed to various locations. Police cars mirrored Chicago's, while uniforms resembled New York's. Oddly, the city hall was Philadelphia's, hinting at Pittsburgh, Pa. References to the shore hinted at the Jersey Shore, while CTA on trains suggested Chicago. Signs for Interstates 90 and 94 scattered clues from Montana to Indiana. The series' vagueness stirred curiosity, fueling fan theories about the city's true identity. The series made television history by introducing innovative filming techniques like long shots and handheld cameras, paving the way for continuous storylines. Despite initial low ratings, its groundbreaking approach earned a record 21 Emmy nominations in its debut season. Regarded as a pinnacle in American dramatic TV, it secured the 14th spot on TV Guide's 50 Greatest TV Shows of All Time. Dennis Fran's journey from portraying a corrupt cop to Lieutenant Norman Bunce showcases the show's evolution and impact on actors' careers. The series' ability to blend gritty realism with intricate storytelling set a standard for television that endures to this day. The roots of the series can be traced back to its initial concept under the title Hill Street Station. Developed by Tom Fontana, who drew inspiration from his upbringing in Buffalo, NY, many of the street names and precincts in the show reflected those of Fontana's hometown. The authenticity lent an air of realism to the fictional setting. One of the show's iconic elements was the exterior shots of the Hill Street Station, which were actually filmed at a genuine Chicago police station. This location, once home to the 7th District near the old Maxwell Street Market, earned the moniker the Hill Street Blues Station. Remarkably, this precinct had a history tied to prohibition, labeled as one of the most corrupt in the nation. Anecdotes of mob payoffs and a captain distributing personnel rosters to manage the clandestine payouts added layers to the station's lore. The show's journey from concept to production encapsulated its evolution. Renowned for its groundbreaking filming techniques and intertwining storylines, it became a hallmark of American TV drama. Its impact on actors' careers, notably Dennis Fran's transformation, underscored its influence within the industry. The fusion of real-life inspirations and innovative storytelling set a standard that endured, cementing its place in television history. The theme music of the iconic 80 Seconds Cop Show, penned by Mike Post, didn't just set the tone for the series, it became a Grammy-winning hit in its own right. Contrary to expectations, Post aimed for a stark contrast between the music and the gritty visuals. Instead of mirroring the on-screen intensity, he crafted a serene, captivating theme that whisked viewers away from the harsh realities unfolding before them. This unexpected musical choice not only resonated but also showcased the power of contrast in storytelling, a hallmark echoed throughout the groundbreaking series. The 1981 TV series Hill Street Blues revolutionized television drama by pioneering multi-episode story arcs, a groundbreaking shift from the episodic nature of traditional shows. This innovation, previously the domain of soap operas, injected a sweeping narrative into straight drama. While the exterior bar scenes took place in Chicago, the series itself was predominantly shot in Los Angeles, a city challenging to navigate due to its characteristic palm trees. 
This hunt for locations resembling a decaying Midwestern or Northeastern city set the gritty backdrop for the show's narratives, notably capturing the essence of a city in flux. The opening credits serene music, in contrast to the on-screen intensity, became an unexpected yet defining element of the series, mirroring its ability to juxtapose harsh realities with captivating storytelling. Its impact on television history remains indelible, setting a standard for narrative depth and multi-episode arcs that endure in the industry today. James Sicking drew inspiration for his role as Lieutenant Howard Hunter from a military drill instructor he once knew. Sicking's portrayal brought a raw authenticity to the character, capturing the essence of disciplined leadership on the show. This depiction added a compelling layer to the series, showcasing the influence of real-life experiences on the actors' performances. Sicking's nuanced portrayal contributed to the depth and realism that became hallmarks of the acclaimed series, underscoring the impact of personal connections in shaping the show's characters. The 1981 TV series about a fictional city stirred a revolution in television drama. Co-creator Stephen Bochco famously admitted, We didn't know what the hell we were doing. We were figuring it out on the fly. Despite this, it became the first weekly show to snag $1 million from the network for a single episode. Setting new precedents, the series delved into uncharted territory, pioneering multi-episode story arcs where realism and intricate storytelling melded seamlessly. But beyond its narrative innovations, the show left a quirky mark after the end credits. The iconic MTM Kitty donned a police cap, a subtle yet distinctive logo gimmick. This groundbreaking series reshaped TV history, blending uncertainty with remarkable milestones in television production, paving the way for a new era of storytelling that endures today. Three main cast members of the series passed away prematurely due to cancer. Michael Conrad died at 58 while the show was ongoing followed by Randa Nikes at 56 and Keel Martin at 46. Their untimely deaths cast a shadow on the show's legacy. Amidst this, the series unfolded each episode over a single day, a unique narrative approach for its time. The dialogue sign-offs by Sergeant Esterhouse and Sergeant Jeblonski became iconic catchphrases, embedding themselves in popular culture. These behind-the-scenes realities and memorable lines added depth to the show's impact, shaping its significance far beyond the screen. These aspects contribute to the multifaceted legacy of the show, elevating its cultural impact and importance in television history. As we bid adieu, let's unfurl the curtains on our shared journey through the compelling narrative of that iconic TV series from yesteryears. The tales spun within the mosaic of Hill Street's precinct echoed beyond its fictional alleys, touching lives, and embedding lasting impressions. If those cobblestone streets, the nuanced characters, or the arresting storylines etched a mark on your memory's canvas, why not let those echoes resound? Share your cherished moments, reflections, or musings that the series gently coaxed from within you. Perhaps it was the way it delicately interwove gritty realism with heartfelt emotions, or the vivid characters that felt like old acquaintances. Maybe it's those midnight thoughts that still linger, sparked by an episode's poignant message. In this collective journey, let's sculpt an ode to the enduring power of storytelling and its remarkable ability to resonate across generations. So, lay bare your thoughts, and let's weave together a tapestry of memories that pay homage to the indelible legacy of that timeless show. Thank you, dear traveler of tales, for lending your ear and sharing your reflections. Your participation is what breathes life into these narratives. With gratitude and a touch of nostalgia, 